Hi guys! Okay, so I'm going to do my Friday favorites and fails. Um, so, yeah, let's just get right on to it. So, the first thing I want to talk about is something, I think it's um, recently released for Valentine's Day. It is amazing. It's this Stila blush, and it is, like, just absolutely gorgeous. I cannot express how beautiful it is. When I saw it in Ulta, I just about, like, I was like, ah, I need that blush. It's so pretty. So it has like a really light shimmery pink, a like kind of um, matte medium pink, and then a darker um, shimmery pink. <laughs> yeah, lots of shimmer. Um, so you can like, if you have small brushes, you can do it individually. Or if you just swirl it all around, it's just like the most gorgeous, gorgeous pink color. I absolutely love this blush. Um, so it's $14 at Ulta, which is a pretty good deal for a Stila brush. Stila brush, Stila blush, $14, not bad, and it's beautiful, so I highly suggest you all check this out. Actually, I don't have it on today, I should have put that on, that would have been very helpful, so you could see it on me, um, but I promise to wear it in some of my upcoming videos, so that way you could see it, but it's, it's just gorgeous, it's called Love at First Blush Palette. I love it. Okay, next is another blush that I've been loving a whole lot, and it's just kind of nice and fresh to change your blush routine. Like I always was um, choosing my Benefit Bella Bomba. And this is another Benefit blush, but this is Coralista. And it's just a beautiful coral color, like you, as you can imagine from the name. It's just gorgeous right there in the middle. Um, but what I like about this, I, was, I think I was reading in like Allure magazine that Coral just instantly makes you look more alive, perks you up, and just makes you look fresher and brighter. So I've been wearing this a lot because this to kind of perk up myself, make myself look more alive and vi uh, bright and vibrant. So I've been really loving this. Okay, next I have a few, I'll do my lip products. So I have the world's most ridiculous lips in, like, <laughs> that was silly. The world's most ridiculous lips in the world. Like, that was going to make sense. Okay, what I'm trying to say is I have the most ridiculous lips. Um, I've used like all kinds of lip balms and just nothing really seems to work for it. Like the closest things that worked was Aquaphor and Vaseline. And really like those don't stay on your lips that long so they only add moisture for that little bit of time that they're on. Um, I've tried like Jack Black lip balm, lip balm, can't speak, and all these other things that people rave about and they just never work for my lips. I just have really dry lips and always they are always chapped and disgusting and nasty. And I've talked about this in like my past videos, uh, past previous, mine's all dented up because my dog decided it was a chew toy. This is from Victoria's Secrets and this is the uh, Victoria or Beauty Rush Soothing Lip Balm. And it just comes in a little pot like this. Mine is the pink one and it's just like, it's pretty much like a very light tinted pink lip balm. Um, it is sticky, it is tacky, so I wouldn't suggest this um, if you don't like that feel. But what I do is I put, them on, put it on before I go to bed. It looks ridiculous because then I have like really glossy, pouty lips. But it stays on all night and when I wake up the next morning my lips are just so hydrated and so much more beautiful like it just gets rid of all the chapness so anytime my lips are a little bit chapped I pull this out and it's been you know cold and it's snowy right now and my lips were looking horrible so I pulled this bad guy out and it just it does the trick every time and I love it okay next lip item is something I have on right now and this is a new Revlon lip butter that I've just picked up this is in Peach Parfait and the reason I decided to pick this up because Cerebell 93X said it was like orgasm in a lipstick form and it is it's just so beautiful I absolutely adore it <laughs> and I love the Revlon lip butters as you guys all know but this is just such a great everyday color that you don't even have to think when you put it on you can just swipe it on and you're good to go I love it it's just beautiful and I love the Revlon lip butters so automatically it's just a win 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 I love it okay to Two more favorites. So, if you've been watching my videos, the last couple videos, you know about my whole hair fiasco. It's getting, it got so dry from highlighting it and all that. And 
So I ordered this. This is the Macadamia Natural Oil Repair Mask. And this baby is amazing. Like, I see all these good reviews on YouTube, and I just never bit the bullet and went and purchased it until my hair just felt so disgusting and fried. After the first use, like, seriously, my hair was amazing. It felt so silky, so smooth, just absolutely amazing. Like, I, I love this. Um, so, I don't have very oily hair, so I only typically wash my hair, like, every third day. Um, but so I'm going to use this every time I wash my hair. I'm going to use this as my conditioner and hopefully I can leave it in the whole seven minutes like you're supposed to. Um, but seriously, this stuff, if your hair is dry, damaged, frazzled, icky, you need this. You need this in your life. It's amazing. Um, it's so good. I can't even, I can't, I can't even, I can't even. <laughs> it's really that good. Okay, another thing I've really been loving is this is this is just a small little sample size I picked up. This is the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum. It looks like this. I just put this in after I get out of the shower. My hair is wet and damp. <laughs> wet and damp. My hair is damp. I just pump a couple pumps in my hand and rub it through, especially through the ends and then through the rest of my hair. And it just makes my hair um, silky, shiny, and then it also, it cuts down on dry time. I don't normally, um, blow dry my hair, so I normally let it air dry, and I have a lot, a lot of hair, and that takes, like, a really long time, but I feel like when I use this, my hair just air dries a lot quicker than without it, so I really like this, and it smells like Jolly Ranchers, like, seriously, it is so amazing. It's, yeah, like, watermelon Jolly Ranchers. That's what it smells like to me, and it's amazing. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Now on to the fails for the week. So going with the whole hair theme, I have two hair products that I just don't like. Um, the first thing, I was looking for a sulfate-free shampoo. Um, I have my sample of the when I'm going to try next. but So I picked this up, and this is the Organics line, the Nourishing Coconut Milk. It smells amazing. It smells like a pina colada. Ugh, amazing. But it, so, have you ever had those shampoos where you put it in and you start to suds your hair up and it just, all of a sudden your hair turns into a big, big rat nest, ratty, tangly, dry, gross feeling nastiness. Have you had that happen? I don't know. Maybe it's just my hair type. I have thick, coarse hair. But like, it just made my hair so tangled, so icky feeling and disgusting and when I, I want a shampoo that I don't have to work so hard when I put the conditioner in to like get out the tangles and all that. So I hate when shampoos leave, do that to my hair. Like it just make my hair feel stripped. Um, so this I don't like. It may work for some of you, but for me and for my hair type, it just was a no-go. The other hair product that I don't like, okay, well let me get, it's a good dry shampoo, but it stinks horribly. Like it, I don't even want to spray it. pretty ridiculous. It's just very... Okay, there it is. Yeah. Um, oh, it's just so powdery and so old lady and so intense. Like, musky, powdery, and like, intense. Intense. I just, I don't want my hair to smell like that. I want my hair to smell good, but that stuff seriously stinks. I do not like it. It's just, it's really powdery and musky and just kind of too mature smelling for me. I just... Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> I don't like it. It's too intense and too overpowering. Anyways, okay, so those are my Friday favorites and fails. If you made any favorites videos, I know it's the end or it's the beginning of the month, so go ahead and post those below or tell me any products that you've been loving and you think I should check out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hurt you guys all. Bye.